Good evening, Myers College. Today is November 6th. I'm Rachel Blair. And I'm Katie Graziano. Let's get right into our top story. Students and faculty recently gathered at the Five Sculptors in Vermont Art Gallery at the Steel Plant. Nicole Pernice has the story. Faculty, students, and the public gathered at the Steel Plant on October 29th for the opening of Five Sculptors in Vermont. This exhibit shows the works of five artists who share common concerns for process, materials, and other formal issues. Art majors at Marist helped to set up this event and talk to others about their passion for art. So we helped set up everything for the artists. For this show, we had to set up with sculptures, which is a little more difficult than painting. So. Sculptors know the curator of the museum, so we had the show put together, Food and wine was served to complement the visitors of the gallery as they walked around and examined different pieces. The gallery will be open from October 29th to December 4th. Please be sure to check it out. Over the weekend in Gilmer, Texas, a woman got a Halloween scare she definitely was not expecting. Carla Hill discovered a dead frog in her bag of greens that she had bought from Walmart. She went on to describe finding the Glory Foods mustard greens she was preparing for dinner, enough to make her sick to her stomach. I was just hysterical. I hate frogs and definitely don't want them in my greens, Hill stated. A spokesperson, spokesperson for Walmart claims that this was an isolated incident and that they are looking further into Hill's accusations. Although Hill has been compensated for the greens, she is still traumatized from her experience stating, I will never buy another bag of Gloria greens. The next greens I eat will be the ones grown from my own garden outside. On November 3rd and 4th, students met in the cabaret to raise money for St. Jude's Hospital up Till Dawn is sponsored by the mayor's student government, but all clubs were welcome to help out. Students wrote letters to family and friends asking for donations to help the children of St. Jude. Project this year has been the St. Jude uh, Up Till Dawn fundraising event. Um, I'm the coordinator of the fundraising event here at Marist. Um, I, the last three years I've been doing it, we raised $109,000 uh, in total. Last year, most significantly, we raised $42,000. This year, our goal is, is 50. Students across the country have like one night or two nights like we do, and we write letters to friends and family asking for a donation. So that way, uh, the kids don't have to, the parents don't have to worry about paying for the treatment for the kids. They uh, don't have to worry about housing. Uh, so they can really just be concerned about getting their kids better. Well, good news came for Yankee fans Wednesday night when they played the Phillies in Game 6 of the World Series. The Yankees crushed the Phillies with a score of 7-4 to to take home the title of 2009 World Series champions. Hideki Matsui was named MVP of the game, bringing in 6 of the 7 runs the Yankees scored, including a home run. Manager Joe Girardi was more than thrilled about the victory, and all Yankee fans were ecstatic about winning on their new home turf. Congrats, Yankee fans. Well deserved. Coming up next, we'll have the latest in entertainment news. Stay tuned.